as the moon hung low in the sky, casting eerie shadows across the old, decrepit house on the hill. A group of friends gathered for a weekend getaway. The house was infamous in the small town of Ravenswood, known for its dark history and rumored to be haunted. But the friends, seeking a thrill, had decided to spend a weekend there, oblivious to the horrors that awaited them. The group consisted of five friends Rachel, a daring and adventurous woman in her late 20s Mark, a skeptical and logical-minded man in his early 30s Sarah, a spiritualist and believer in the supernatural, Alex, a thrill-seeker and skeptic in his mid-20s and Lus, a reserved and cautious woman in her early 30s. As they settled into the old house, they felt a palpable sense of unease. The air was thick with an oppressive energy, and the walls seemed to whisper with secrets. Sarah, sensing a presence, warned the group of a malevolent force that she felt lingering in the house, but her friends brushed it off as her overactive imagination. As the night descended, strange occurrences began to unfold. Footsteps echoed in empty hallways, doors creaked open on their own, and chilling whispers seemed to follow the friends wherever they went. Despite their initial dismissals, the group couldn't ignore the growing sense of dread that enveloped them. Soon, they realized that they were not alone in the house. Shadows danced in the corners of their vision, and eerie figures appeared fleetingly in their peripheral vision. Rachel, the most daring of the group, decided to investigate the source of the haunting convinced that there was a logical explanation behind the strange occurrences. As Rachel delved deeper into the history of the house, she uncovered a dark past. The house had once belonged to a wealthy family who had dabbled in occult practices, conducting sinister rituals to gain power and wealth. But their experiments had gone horribly wrong, unleashing a malevolent spirit that had consumed them all, leaving the house cursed. Rachel's research revealed that the only way to break the curse was to confront the spirit and put it to rest. With the clock ticking and the supernatural occurrences growing more intense, the group came to the realization that they were trapped in the house, unable to leave until the curse was lifted. As they ventured further into the bowels of the house, they encountered horrifying manifestations of the spirit's wrath. The walls bled, objects moved on their own, and the air was suffocating with malevolent energy. Their skepticism waned, and fear gripped them tightly as they fought to survive the supernatural onslaught. One by one, the friends fell victim to the spirit's wrath. Sarah was dragged into the darkness, screaming, never to be seen again. Mark succumbed to madness, his logical mind shattered by the inexplicable events. Alex was consumed by a supernatural force. His body contorted into an unnatural shape. Lisa vanished into thin air, leaving behind only her terrified screams. Rachel, the last remaining member of the group, finally confronted the spirit in a climactic battle. The spirit, enraged Rachel's intrusion, unleashed its full power, unleashing a maelstrom of terror upon her. But Rachel, armed with her newfound knowledge of the house's history, refused to back down. With sheer determination and quick thinking, Rachel managed to perform a ritual to banish the spirit back to the realm of the dead. The house shook and groaned as the curse was broken, and Rachel emerged battered and bruised, but victorious. As the sun rose, Rachel stumbled out of the house, the sole survivor of the harrowing ordeal. She looked back at the house, now quiet and still, and knew that she had faced something beyond the realm of the living. She was forever changed by the horrors she had witnessed, and she knew she could never forget the friends she had lost in that cursed house. The town of Ravenswood was abuzz with the news of the events that had unfolded in the old house on the hill. Rumors spread, and the locals began to believe the legends of the haunted house were true. Rachel, 
haunted by the memories of what she had experienced, tried to move on with her life. But the trauma lingered, manifesting in sleepless nights and vivid nightmares. Months passed, and Rachel found herself drawn back to the house. The once abandoned property had been put up for sale, and she couldn't shake the feeling that she had unfinished business there. Despite the warnings of the townspeople and her own lingering fear, Rachel decided to return to the house, determined to uncover the truth behind the curse and put the spirits to rest once and for all. As Rachel stepped foot into the house once again, she was immediately engulfed by the same malevolent energy she had felt before, but this time it was different. The spirits seemed more restless, more powerful. She realized that the curse had grown stronger and she was now facing an even greater threat. Rachel delved deeper into the house, facing terrifying manifestations of the spirit's wrath. She was tormented by apparitions of her lost friends, each one more sinister than the last. The walls bled with more intensity, and the whispers grew louder, driving her to the brink of madness. In her quest for answers, Rachel stumbled upon a hidden chamber in the basement. There, she discovered a secret chamber where the occult rituals had taken place decades ago. She found a tome of dark magic, written in a language she couldn't understand, and an ancient artifact that seemed to pulse with dark energy. Driven by a mix of fear and determination, Rachel decided to confront the spirits head-on. She performed a ritual to communicate with the other side, hoping to understand the source of the curse and how to break it. But the spirits were malevolent and elusive, taunting her with their eerie voices and twisted apparitions. As Rachel delved deeper into the dark arts, she realized that the curse was not just confined to the house, but it had spread to the entire town of Ravenswood. The spirits were not just seeking revenge, but they were hungry for souls, luring unsuspecting victims into their grasp. Rachel's own sanity began to unravel as she faced the full force of the spirit's wrath. She became plagued by hallucinations and nightmares, unable to distinguish between reality and the supernatural. She was consumed by the darkness, and it seemed like there was no way out. But just when Rachel was on the brink of succumbing to the curse, she had a breakthrough. She deciphered the ancient tome and uncovered the truth behind the curse. The spirits were bound to the artifact, and by destroying it, she could break the curse and send them back to the realm of the dead. With renewed determination, Rachel confronted the spirits in a final battle. She faced unimaginable horrors, but she refused to back down. With the artifact in hand, she channeled her inner strength and shattered it, releasing a blinding burst of energy that banished the spirits for good. As the dust settled, Rachel emerged victorious once again. The curse was finally broken, and the house and the town of Ravenswood were freed from the grip of the malevolent spirits. Rachel, battered and bruised, but with a sense of closure, left the town for good leaving the horrors of the haunted house behind her. But as she drove away, Rachel couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. She glanced in her rearview mirror and saw a faint figure standing on the hill where the house once stood. It was a figure she recognized one of the spirits she had banished. Her heart skipped a beat and a chill ran down her spine. Rachel tried to shake off the feeling of unease, convincing herself that it was just her imagination playing tricks on her. But as she drove further away from Ravenswood, strange occurrences began to happen. To be continued.